I'm Desi Bice. I lived here in the Woodlands for 20 years, and I have a family of my husband and two boys. I was always active. I did everyday things. I exercised, I run around as a mom does, and then I had the stomach pain. It wasn't a hard, harsh pain. It was just a small, little nagging pain. My annual checkup with my cardiologist, Dr. Aquino, was coming up. And so when I went to him, I'd mentioned it. Then he suggested that I have the uh, angiogram. And we discussed, well, we probably won't find anything. And I said, no, because I was in such good health and I worked out and ate right. When I got the results of my angiogram, I had two blockages and it was a shock because I thought I had done everything right. I thought I had eaten right, my diet, I had been very active. I knew that heart disease was in my family and it could possibly happen to me, but I didn't think it would. Well, even people who uh, lead regular active lifestyles can develop coronary artery disease. Sometimes there are overriding factors like your family history or genetics that play a predominant role. Men more often present with the typical or classic chest pain or chest discomfort symptoms. Women uh, are uh, known to often present with more atypical symptoms, and by atypical I mean it can be just neck discomfort or neck pain or arm pain, or sometimes it's stomach discomfort or stomach pain. But women is different. It may be really subtle. My arm could hurt. I could have chest pains, I could have jaw pain, I could even just have a headache, or there could be a pain in the middle of my back. I had none of these. So in Desi's case, she underwent uh, evaluation, was found to have obstructive coronary artery disease or blockages in the blood flow to her heart. And she ultimately underwent bypass surgery, uh, which successfully treated this condition. The surgical team I had was great. They kept my family informed of what was going on, and that was a big thing for me. And I was very lucky when I went with the stomach ache because when they got in there and he fixed the blockages, there was no damage to my heart. At St. Luke's the Woodlands Hospital, Desi had access to a, a heart team uh, which was able to provide comprehensive care for her, her interventional cardiologist. She got her bypass surgery here and then completed cardiac rehab here. Well, after my surgery, I got to do the rehab. And when I went to rehab, the first day I walked through the doors, I thought, oh, this is a dread. I'm, I cannot do this. When Desi came to us, she was a little bit skeptical about the program. She wasn't quite sure if this was for her. But as she progressed through the program, she began to realize that what she would have missed, um, just going back to walking on her own, would have been, um, of course, the sense of community and everybody around her, the other patients encouraging her, but also um, the education piece, um, learning her safe parameters, learning what she can and can't do. So she just would have missed out on those other aspects. Um, that makes the program so important. After my surgery, I set myself goals. I would walk a little farther every day. I would do a little bit more every day. And so each day it got better. It's been nine months since my surgery. I'm completely healed. I'm back to working out. I'm four miles a day on my treadmill. I think I'm in better shape because I'm more conscious about working out every day, what I eat, my life is way better because I had help going through this whole process with my family. My support system was magnificent and I want to thank everyone that was in this whole process of my heart surgery, my rehabilitation. You know, I appreciate everything they've done and I appreciate St. Luke's. If not for them, I wouldn't have met up with any of these people to put me back whole.